Hi, my name is Amina and I'm a public health nurse. Babies are just humans in tiny form. They feel hunger and discomfort, sleepiness and uncertainty, just like we do. In those first few days and weeks, babies experience a lot of sensations for the first time. But unlike us, they have no way to tell us what and how they're feeling. Babies discover and learn to use their voice to communicate with us. For most healthy babies, crying begins to increase at about two weeks of age, peaks around six to eight weeks, and usually improves by about four to five months. Sometimes it feels like we've tried everything to soothe the baby, but the baby continues to cry. This is often referred to as inconsolable crying. Inconsolable crying can come and go, can last anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours, can be difficult to understand, and can occur for no reason. It can occur even if babies have been fed, changed, and comforted, and can look like your baby is in pain. This can be scary and confusing for parents, but know that this crying is very normal. If your baby's crying has recently increased, check your baby's temperature, count the number of feeds of wet and dirty diapers, and if all is consistent with what is normal for your baby, this is a great sign. Check in with your baby's primary care provider. Check if your baby is hungry, tired, gassy, needs to be burped, or needs a position or diaper change. If your baby's physical needs are met, try a change in scenery by changing rooms, lighting and sound, or going for a walk. Know that babies that are often held close to a parent cry less. Continue to comfort your baby by rocking, cuddling, bouncing, baby wearing, smiling, talking, singing, or humming, or by giving them a pacifier once breastfeeding is well established. Your baby's crying can make you feel scared, frustrated, and hopeless, and that's okay. It's important to remember that to take good care of your baby, you need to take good care of yourself too. When your baby is crying inconsolably and you feel that you can't take it anymore, set your baby down, flat on his or her back, somewhere safe, such as a crib or a bassinet, and walk away. Recharge your own batteries by listening to some music, getting some fresh air, a fresh cup of tea or coffee, or grab a snack. Now is also a great time to go to the bathroom in peace or have a quick shower. If possible, call for reinforcement. Friends and family want to help. When you've calmed down and are ready to try again, start back from the top of your list and work your way down in attempting to soothe your baby. I hope this video will reassure you and help you to take good care of yourself and your baby during this difficult but very normal period of inconsolable crying. Know that you're not alone. If you need more support, please contact your doctor, midwife, nurse, or public health department for more information.